We're turning in the card on Damon Webb, the Ohio State safety. Where will he go in the 2018 NFL Draft? We have it written on these cards. We're not going to flip the cards over and see who picked Damon Webb the highest. Let's turn in the card on Damon Webb. Oh, Ooh, and you did I get him? You got him. Oh. I got him. 169 to Philadelphia, which is late in the fifth round. That's a little high. Damon Webb is a guy who was a big-time recruit, is a big-time athlete, was a corner who moved to safety at Ohio State, was a guy that sort of stood out when they had three first-rounders in that secondary two years ago as a guy who maybe was the weak link there, had a very good senior season, I think. There's a guy, a draft analyst, who I check in sometimes. His name's Ted Wynn. I think he's based out of San Francisco. I followed him a little bit. He loves Damon Webb. He thinks Damon Webb's a steal. He thinks Damon Webb might be as good of a natural free safety as anybody in this draft. I think this is reasonable. I think he's an athlete, and I think he's a guy who just played his best year and might be on an upward trend still. So I think a team like the Eagles, who's a good team, can just take a take a shot on a guy that you think is a good player, can play special teams right away, and you think might develop, I think late fifth round is not unreasonable for Damon Webb. I have Webb going a place Ohio State players haven't been drafted in almost a decade. Number 188 to the Cleveland Browns. Ooh, missing piece. Yeah, and I, I'm in full agreement with Doug. Webb, Webb didn't really you know shine like some of the other guys that – have a similar ranking, but he was on a steady incline. I thought he played his best throughout his senior season, saved his best for the Con Bowl, picked sixing Sam Darnold. I feel like for the Browns, they just, they just need to get quality athletes in there. Webb will be on special teams right away. He can fit into a team that needs some help with safety. And Webb's continued growth, I think, will be beneficial. Plus, get a, for a team that has won one game in two years, get a player from a winning culture in late who will Add a little attitude. You think the- Damon Webb's going to change the culture of the Browns, the sixth-round pick? At least a drop in a bucket. Okay. All right, so that's that's pretty early sixth, mid to early sixth, 188 for you. Okay. Seventh round, number 238 overall to the Arizona Cardinals. Um, Dame Brugler, I thought, had a good, good analysis of Damon Webb when he said that when Webb is in the area, he will make a play, but he is not a playmaker. And I thought that was a very sort of astute observation. I think Damon Webb was solid at Ohio State. I agree, had his best year as a senior. I don't know if he's a starter in the NFL. I think he can play special teams. I think he's draftable. Um, I think he gets dinged a little bit because two years ago he shared the safety position with Malik Hooker, and no one's going to look as good as Malik Hooker. And then last year when you put on the same tape of Ohio State secondary, it was just quite obvious that any kind of playmaking element was missing. He had Denzel Ward who's a top cornerback, but there still wasn't, I don't think, that guy who strikes fear in a defense. And Damon Webb from that safety position was like the kind of the closest thing they had to it, but still didn't quite do it. So I think he can be a a good pro for a couple years. I just don't think he's ever going to be a starter in the NFL. But I would draft a guy who has some upside and and will play special teams, so I have him in the seventh round. 